you are. This is a place where anything can happen. Tiger Stadium in Baton Rouge, a fun place to be on a Saturday night. And tonight, we get to take a look at the top-ranked team in the nation, Florida State, against the LSU Fighting Tigers. The chant has started already for Florida State as Dan Mowry prepares to kick this football off. Marcus Carter will be one of the deep men as you look at Ampley in the far sideline. It is going to be LSU receiving the football as Florida State won the toss tonight. That's Benson to the near side receiving. Marcus Carter on the far side. This is Maori. Florida State deferred to the second half, so they'll get a look at the Seminole defense first. Fuller lets it go out of bounds and then comes in to become your starting quarterback. Fuller, that's Carruthers who hits him at the line of scrimmage. And then the other linebacker, Marvin Jones. See Florida State ganged up at the line of scrimmage, faking the blitz. They stay at home. And Luke pumps up. He's got a man wide open. It's Fitchin. And he'll score. 63 yards. Suarez seven to nothing LSU goes on top play they made the most of their chance at the first series or did they McMillan and Schmidt this is McMillan hang on McMillan all the way out to the 47 yard line. That's a return of 44 yards. Offensively tonight, Casey Weldon. 13 wins in a row with him as a starter. And also, of course, he is a Heisman candidate. Wide receiver Shannon Baker has been starting the part time at least since he was a freshman, former state sprint champion. And up front, very good, solid offensive line headed by this man, Kevin Mancini. Very consistent. He's out of Brandon, Florida. Well, we're going to find out in this first series how Florida State's going to play on offense. That's a great way to start for a young LSU team, though. Weldon off to Johnson. Fumbles the ball. Covers at the 47. Corey Raymond. So the Tigers have a chance to do some real damage early. They have spotted it at the 45. Luke has a man open. That's Abel out of the backfield, and he's all the way down to the 26-yard line of Florida State. That's 30 yards already. How about that? Stealing the play from the other team. I think it's kind of smart. Fuller whacked at the line of scrimmage for the LSU Tigers on offense. Abel converted from a linebacker. You saw him catch the ball just a moment ago. Todd Kenshin, of course, the game breaker, and he had the 63 yard touchdown just a moment ago. And Moai, the best of the offensive linemen for the LSU Tigers, and he anchors it at center. Short drop this time, throws it complete at the 20 yard line. And Fuller, James Cheney, starter in 90, second year for him at nose guard. Marvin Jones, marvelous Marvin, number 55. He is a finalist for the Lombardi Award, but he's only a sophomore. And in the secondary, Terrell Buckley could be another of the great ones, but uh, Terrell was treated rudely on that opening drive. A little bit right now, get the conference going. Luke almost intercepted as he just had to get rid of that one. 48 is longest this year. He's only missed a couple. LSU 10. Florida State nothing. We'll take a break with 12.05 left in this opening quarter. Almost a 30-point underdog of this one, and they have jumped on top 10 to nothing. Harris lets it get by him, and now will go down on one knee for the touchback. The kind of start that they have to have against a very good Florida State team. Amp Lee 
at the line of scrimmage is belted. He'll have one, and that's it. Baker in motion. Florida State sets the screen. It is covered. He gets it off to Ampley, and there's nothing but purple out there. He will be decked at the 13-yard line. The line to make is the 30. Baker can't hold on a little too high. Tension from the 46. Down to the 42. They go with the option, and the fullback seems to will take it for one, maybe a couple of yards. Carter. And how in the world he gathered in the pitch. What an effort by Luke just to get it off on one hand and still got the pitch off. Field position for LSU, their own 35, the Florida State 45, and the FSU 42. Pass caught by one hand, Sammy Seamster. Said everything's coming up roses. Look at this, one hand. Four of five, 105 yards for Chad Luke. Draw play. Beckham all the way down to the 15-yard line. He probably can't even tell it's raining, but he does not have a raincoat on on the sideline. 10 to nothing. LSU and his club is driving again. Back of who does he get stuck at the line of scrimmage? Marvin Jones, number 55. But again, Florida State's so powerful on offense, it's just a matter of time until they explode. Draw play. Seamster. More about that as the game progresses. It is a third down and six. Looking over the middle. Ball is batted down, and it's going to be a fourth down. This attempt will be from 28. He got it. Six fifty-three left in this opening quarter. And now our new score is LSU 13 and Florida State nothing. It's going to come down to Tiger McMillan at the goal line. Gets outside to the right again. Cuts it across the 30 to the 33 yard line. That's Amp Lee. First time that Amp has gotten loose tonight. It's like a very fine mist coming down. As Casey Weldon directs his ball club. Again, it's Amp Lee. And the initial first down of the night for the Florida State Seminole. He, like Curly Holman, does not have on rain gear. Straight ahead with Bennett. And the fullback will take it into LSU territory. Second down, just over five. Lee, boy, he really has the ability to make you miss it. Baker, the intended receiver. Lee breaks off one tackle, then fights it for about four yards. The state needs the 31-yard line. Great pass over the middle. They will pick up the first down. You can see the corner coming on the blitz. It was Wayne Williams, number 23, who came into the picture. This is the deepest drive by Florida State tonight. Amp Lee. Derek Terrell in motion. They go with the running play, and Lee is going to be hit by Mark Boutte and denied the first down. Out of the backfield and incomplete. Ampley is who he was looking for. They need the 20-yard line.
Weldon will be caught from behind Sean King. Well, up on top by a score of 13 to nothing. And you saw that score right there as Northwestern shocked Illinois today. Could we have another shocker in the making here tonight? One of the few times that LSU has had a second down and long tonight. Here come the Seminoles with the blitz and the pass thrown complete. Carter close to the first down. In fact, I believe he's going to have it. He was coming from inside. Look for the first time tonight having to scramble. And oh, does he take a shot at the 45-yard line. Now the crowd loves that. That is the end of the first quarter. And as with everything else, they are standing and cheering here at Baton Rouge. We'll take a break. We'll come right back. As they are being shut out 13 to nothing at the end of the first 15 minutes of play. Hit in the backfield, and there will be nothing. A loss on the play is Beckham. <laughs> Second and long as Loop sets the screen to the right side. And hit immediately and knocked down at Jermaine Williams. Third down. They need the 45 of Florida State. Ball is fumbled. And LSU has recovered. In fact, it's Jermaine Williams who gets in the ball back. They had only three first downs in that opening quarter and a total of 45 yards. Here's a boomer. Buckley from the 17. And he will run out of bounds out at the 39-yard line. Deshaun Jackson has replaced Amp Lee at the tailback spot. Weldon zips the pass, has it complete over the middle to the 45 to Kevin Knox. He not on the right. Sean Jackson. Bumped out of bounds inside the 30. Corey Raymond again. Watch him. He's going to be effective. This is Bennett this time goes into the middle of the line and goes inside the 25. Weldon with play action on second down. Zips it and complete to Baker at the five-yard line. First and goal, Florida State. But it's considerable from watching that jump. Jackson will have maybe a half yard, and that is it. Let's see if Weldon throws it. He's two of two on this drive for 16 and 19 yards. Puts it on his hip. Little bootleg. And he elects to run it. And he, he is out of bounds at the one-foot line. <laughs> Touchdown, Lee. So after being blanked for the first time in the opening quarter, the Seminoles come back in the second quarter with well-documented the kicking woes of Florida State. So Thomas has replaced Mowry, and he puts the Seminoles on top 7-0. One more look as Amp Lee will get his eighth touchdown of the year, airborne. 13-7, LSU leads. We'll take a break. From Baton Rouge, Louisiana, glad to have you with us. As the Seminoles have finally gotten on the scoreboard. This will come down to Vincent Fuller at the four. And he will be stopped just across the 20. General scholarship program. And our congratulations to those two players. Luke zings that one and Kenshin took his eye off of it. That this will be a, this may be a draw or a little option pass. One of the outside receivers. Luke hit and will be knocked down. How did he hold on to the football? Carl Simpson. Jermaine Williams is the lone setback. And they will go with the running play. Bounces off the tackle of Marvin Jones. And will take it out across the 20. And they're coming after him right up the middle. And they got it. They also got the kicker. And that's going to be a flag. Buckley. Wiggles his way to the 50-yard line. Running into the kicker, five-yard penalty, still fourth down. In-man rush again at a high pass, and Griffith in dire straits did not get on the football. It will be down by Fuller at the seven-yard line, and the Seminoles will have a first and goal. A couple of key mistakes, and one right here puts the Seminoles on the doorstep. 
Bennett spins off one tackle. He'll take it to the five. Weldon has it complete. That's out of bounds. Casey's now five of nine, 42 yards. Sets a screen. That's Bennett. Hit it to three, fights it down to about the one yard line. Weldon. Incomplete. And you can see number 25 forcing the issue. Vincent Fuller hit at the line of scrimmage, and I'll tell you what. He came very close to being knocked down in the end zone. We're trying to get the ball to fullback. Luke put it on his hip. Has it complete to his running back, Williams. After good ball handling by Chad Loop and an excellent fake by Vincent Fuller. They threw it to Williams. Loop sets the screen to the right side. That's Piggies, and he will not have anything. In fact, he might have lost it. Todd, yes, sir. Wesley Jacob, who had just checked into the lineup. Defensive pass interference, first down, start of the foul. Jermaine Williams hit in the backfield and is going to be knocked down for a loss. Well, men participating in the defense, 15 yards on the first down. It's Hankton down at the bottom of the screen. Short drop, and they throw that quick screen to Kenshin. Gets by a couple of tacklers, and then it's Leon Fowler who belts him out of bounds. Joe Ostazuski who got him. Second and short, and the running play is Beckham. He'll have the first down. Bagel remains in the ball game. Has to pass intercepted at the 17-yard line by McCorby. Amp Lee on the sweep. Only has a couple. And let's go down to Adrian. Members of the family you here to watch the game. Mr. McCorby, you took the American dream and kind of twisted it around a little bit. You asked your sons, all eight, ten of your sons. Weldon drills it. That ball is tipped and it's intercepted. Buckles back to the 45-yard line. Little option play by Loop. He will take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. Form the run, draw or an option route. Ball is thrown complete. That's Vincent Fuller back at the 34. He's pushed all the way back to the 45. And now here comes a late marker. After the play was over, personal foul on the defense, 15 yards, and then the run, plus the first down. It's three major penalties against Florida State. Here they come on the blitz. Loop, and he will be knocked down by Carl Simpson, the first man to get to him. Second down now and 22. Pass is caught by Kenshin, and he'll be pushed back to the 24. Errol McCorby is there on the stop. This LSU with the third down. They need the ball at the 20 for the first. At the 10, I beg your pardon. Loop under heavy pressure again, and incomplete in the end zone. 41-yard field goal attempt. He has already converted on 35 and 27 tonight. He got it. So 31 seconds left until halftime, and the LSU Tigers go on top 16 to 7. Mike, how big is that? McMillan. Five yards deep, will not return it. One, though, after a snap over the head of the punter, and they come away with nothing. As Amp Lee will go with the running play, take it to the 25.
So Florida State will be content to head to the locker room. Trailing by a score of 16 to 7. They'll let it run down and listen to this crowd in Baton Rouge. We will take a break. It's halftime in Baton Rouge. Tigers 16 and Florida State 7. Yeah. Tiger McMillan from the two. I would imagine that halftime talk was not ready for prime time. Straight ahead with the running play. And his team has to reflect that. Amp Lee this time. Close to the first down. They'll knock him down about a yard shy. Third down conversion. Florida State 2 of 5. Amp Lee puts the head down running hard and he'll have the first down plus three. Wayne Williams here for the LSU Tigers back in the 80s. Straight ahead, handoff, and five yards, now seven. Boy, you could hear the groan of the crowd. Bennett again, and he will bang it at left guard and have the first down. Derrimer has come in at center, number 64. He's a junior. Quick pass over the middle. It is complete to McCorby. And Kez McCorby tackled by Corey Raymond. Golden now 7 to 13, one interception, 62 yards. Will be stopped for nothing at the line of scrimmage. Okay, Adrian, we'll look for that report as Bennett goes straight ahead and he'll take it for four, now five, to the 30 yard line. And a little angle passes. Third down. They need the 25. Draw play to Ampley and he'll have the first down plus three. Ivory Hilliard. This time it's Bennett. Hammers in, nothing is there, tries to bounce it outside, and he'll lose one. That's Dario McCarvey who tracks him down. Looking for the end zone, and it's overthrown. He wanted Kez McCarvey on that one. Third down. Touchdown, Ampley. Ron, a well-thrown pass by Casey Weldon, but number three, Ivory Hillard, went for the interception and came underneath the ball. Bend has come up a little bit. You can see the nose wouldn't come down on that thing for Casey. As the extra point is good by Jerry Thomas. And one more look as we head to commercial. Weldon standing in the pocket and standing well as he always does. He does not feel the pressure around him. And Ampley. We'll get the touchdown. So let's take a break. 9.15 left in the third. LSU by two. Because of the wet surface, and he has been taking some hits. Ball is fumbled for a moment by Carter. And he will not make it back to the 20-yard line. Fuller breaks off a tackle, has five, has ten, counted off at 15 yards. Footman makes the stop. Able to mention formerly a tight end. They moved him over to fullback. Luke rolls the pocket this time. That's Kenson. Breaks off the tackle, and he'll have the first down. Marvin Jones. Fuller stop for no gain. In fact, he may lose a couple on the play. This is almost like the way the stage is supposed to be set when you come to Baton Rouge and play on Saturday nights, Mike. Foggy and Rainey going to put it up top. And it is intercepted by Fowler. Second interception by Florida State. To the first interception of the night was thrown by Daigle. Brad Johnson has come into directing attack as Sean Jackson will take the handoff. Complete for the first down, and what a hit. William Floyd. Over here over 70,000 grown that accentuates. 
got an experienced quarterback as a backup. Eric Gibbs has come to the ballgame replacing Mancini, who had to be carried off the field. Pass by Johnson, complete right over the middle to Edgar Bennett. And 25. And a personal foul against the offense during the play. The player has been ejected. The 15-yard penalty is enforced on the end of the play back. Brad was the starter for this football team until the Auburn game last year. That's when Weldon came in and took over for him. And Lee hit at the line of scrimmage by Mike Hewitt. Brad Johnson over the middle incomplete at the 35-yard line. Matt Fryer. Third and 11, they roll the pocket. Now they throw back to the other side. Complete to the tight end, Johnson, and he will not have the first down. They'll knock him down at the 49. Players punt, end over end. Kenshin on the run. Tries to reverse, and it's still on his feet. Will be tackled at the 15-yard line. And what he sees front-wise and so forth, and become a coach on the field. It's the only way he can help now. is the man he wanted and you don't you don't get careless good draw down the pass is incomplete almost intercepted by Marvin Jones Florida State with outside pressure but they've got the return on Buckley across the 50 as Casey Weldon comes back into the football game. Camp Lee out of the backfield, and he comes out of bounds. They rarely are the tight ends for Florida State the primary receiver, and indicative of what Mike's talking about, they have eight touchdowns to their credit this year. Williams comes on that corner blitz, and that's right where they're going to run it. And Amp Lee with some space, and he'll be pushed out of bounds by Ivory Hilliard. Sean Jackson, and he slipped just as he gets to the 20-yard line, and then Reggie Walker scored seven in the second, seven in the third. To the 17-yard line, Sean Jackson. Keep an eye on Amp Lee, his running back as well. Weldon dumps it out. Floyd puts a head down and to the one-yard line. Good heavens, what a second and third effort. Would you like to have known Bobby's uh, heart rate when he saw him almost run to the one-foot line? And they still had not signaled touchdown. William Floyd did the ball carrier. That is the end of the third quarter. So let's take a break as we head to the final 15 minutes. LSU 16, Florida State 14. I look for Edgar Bennett to take this football in. Right up inside. Weldon straight ahead, and he doesn't have it. It's going to be third down. Ricardo Washington. Touchdown, William Floyd. Now, with the numbers on the board, Mike, they've got to go for two, don't they? It's so, a 20 to 16 ball game. You are so right. They've got to go for two. Extra point is up and good. Mowry with the kick going to be Piggies. 20, 25, breaks it out, and finally is tripped up close to the 40-yard line. And as closely contested as it's been. Williams and Beckham, the setbacks for LSU. And it's Williams who jumps offside. It's Harvey Williams' brother. He thought that his brother Harvey, who was a first-round draft choice by Kansas City, might try to be here tonight. 
straight ahead with the running play. Odell Beckham, the key spot. But 13 of their 44, first 44, uh, are seniors. And that's it. Pass incomplete. And now the marker comes down as Chad Loop. Intentional grounding. Five yards to the spot. Loss of down. The third down. Yep. Quarterback draw. Luke fumbles the football, and Florida State has recovered Kirk Carruthers. Third turnover by LSU. George's best man was in the wedding, wasn't he? He was. And please, tries to turn the corner, spins off the tackle, and will take it to the 15-yard line. You better make sure he's on the turf. I'll bet Yogi's watching our game tonight. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> This time, Amp Lee gets up into contact at the line of scrimmage, and that could be you see what I'm referring to. Longer he's here, you won't have those mistakes. Straight ahead, and Paul Moore, who is coming at fullback, the senior from Miami. First man through will take it. Ampley and Paul Moore, the setbacks. And it's Ampley. And he will score. I can see that there is happiness as far as Florida State is concerned. Fumble the snap from center. They'll throw the pass, and it is intercepted. Now, this will count, too, if he scores. Ivory Hillier has one man to beat. And it's going to be caught from behind by William Floyd. Wow. William Floyd. Unbelievable play. So we'll take a break. 10-14 left in the ballgame. Florida State, 27-16 an ideal condition when the game started but then the rain started still the footing has not been that bad considering how much moisture has fallen you almost want a fair catch it if yeah. it's really high Chadwick rolls the pocket pressure is on him gets it away incomplete he wanted Jermaine Williams just under 10 minutes left to play in this one Wesley Jacob, and they say he caught it in bounds. Loop backside pressure gets it away and dropped by Kinchin. That's two. Go with the draw play with Williams. He fights his way for a couple. And this says something about the turnaround on defense, doesn't it? He's cranked it up at halftime. Out of the backfield is Beckham, and he will take it down to in the vicinity of the 30 and a late flag. Action the play was over, personal foul, late hit on the defense, 15 yards, second and first down. He trails 27 to 16, but his team is driving again. Luke for the end zone, got him there, can't hold on. Marcus Carter went parallel to the ground. Short drop. Similar play to the other side, and Kinchin runs into some chairs. That was Earl McCorvey who was covering on the play. And Loops pass is caught by Kinchin, and he will take it for the first down. Fumbles the football, and let's see, is it dead? Yes, it is dead. First and goal, LSU. And look at that rain come down. Pitch to Odell Beckham. Gets a block, and he will not get in. Carruthers, one of the first men to come up there and make a stick. Mm -hmm. 
Vincent Fuller fights his way inside the two-yard line. He used up just over three minutes on this drive. This is the 11th play. Option play, and Luke cannot even pitch it. He is upended by number two. That is Clifton Abraham. It's time to, to make the call that you feel work. Luke, the ball is batted down at the line of scrimmage by Dan Footman. Paul Moore. He'll take it out of the 10-yard line. It will show you in between the next plays. They stay there. It is called from the sideline, and then they're signaled what the coverage is. As Moore will take it straight up the middle. Trick play when you're outside. That's, uh, that is smart. As long as everybody's on the same page. Amp lead. Corey Raymond finally will put a stop on him, but an absolutely huge first down. But I think his point is coming out again in this one. The ball is fumbled, and Weldon makes the recovery at the 18-yard line. Had some people who had some outstanding games both sides of the football. Yes, Florida State had to come from behind, being held scoreless for the first time this year in that first quarter. You see Amp Lee really holding on to the football. They're coming after the kicker, and they got a piece of it. At the 40-yard line, and it looks like that's Wayne Williams. Hey, like the weather over here, when it rains, it pours for injuries. Luke Bass is too tall. If you lose him, you lose that dimension. On second and ten, Luke. Trying to run away from the pressure. Wide open is Pynchon at the 30. Looks for a block and is going to be tripped up at the 28. And he slid for five yards after he went down. Six catches, 115 yards for Todd Kenton, And that 63-yard touchdown. Luke delivers it and incomplete. It's Wesley Jacob and he got a hammered. Second down. They need the 17. Luke gets it away. That's Kenton. He'll make the reception. And the important thing, did he get out of bounds? Nope. Kirk Carruthers is there to make the stop. Pass thrown incomplete. And boy, that time Fuller really took the shot of 41 yards. Very important to watch his plant foot. He's in a muddy area right there. He has to be able to get that foot planted to kick the football. Low pass from center, and just what you're talking about. Never even made it up. Did they ever? 10 to nothing. Then 13 as LSU jumped out of this football game. And that's William Floyd who's been pressed into action tonight with the injury to Edgar Bennett. And you see Weldon with the finger high over his head. He could care less about individual stats tonight. He has won again. That's 14 straight times that he has been a starter for Florida State and that the Seminoles have won. Our final score, the top-ranked team in the nation, Florida State, coming from behind to beat LSU 27-16. to well, I tell you, it's a good effort by both football teams. As I said before, building blocks in a rebuilding program or a transition program. It's a building block for LSU for Florida State. They get a scare, but they come out of this a better football team. Once again, the final score is Florida State 27, LSU 16. Stay tuned for the residents in college football scoreboard next. Now for Mike Gottfried and Adrian Karsten, I'm Ron Franklin saying good night from Baton Rouge, Louisiana.